In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to replace a balance ring on this top load washer. So to install your balance ring, you just go to lower it into position on the tub, let it settle into place, and then you're just going to give it a quick twist clockwise to lock it into place. And that's how easy it is to install a new balance ring. So now we're ready to put our basket back in. Set it down on top of the lug. So with our tub in place, we're just going to put the lock nut on. So now we're just going to screw the nut down into place and tighten it up. And again, if you don't have the specialized wrench, you can use just a regular flat style wrench. Just want to be a little careful as you swing the hammer. I'm using a composite hammer, but you can use a ball peen. You just don't want to be coming back too far and possibly chipping your tub when you're whacking at it. So now we're just going to install our tub ring. So we just insert the the recessed portion, so it goes underneath the water distributor. Make sure all of these tabs are on the outside of the tub before you start clicking them into place. Some of them like to hide down inside and makes the job impossible. And once you're sure you have them all on the outside, Push downward to lock them. There. Now we just need to put the pieces of our agitator back in. And again, if your washer has one of these agitator assist components, you'll put it back in just by taking one pin, dropping it down into that hole in the drive lug, and put the retainer in place. And it doesn't matter whether it's on this side or this side. It'll align itself when it goes to operate. With that in place, you can put your agitator back in. And once that's secured, we'll put the cap back in. Press downward on it for it to lock into place. And then finally, your fabric softener dispenser. Snap that into place. So we want to make sure we install our pressure hose. So slide it down through the strain relief on the side of the tub. Line it up with the port and just push it straight down. Make sure it's well seated. And now we can put our cabinet on. So now to install your cabinet, so just want to take notice that on your frame, in all four corners, there's a little metal pin sticking up. One here, one in the very back, and the same thing on the other side. Now those pins are there to lock into your cabinet. So to put your cabinet on, we're just going to lift our lid, take hold of it, raise it up, and then you want to tip it towards yourself and just begin to settle the cabinet in against the front edge and tip it forward. By doing it that way, these ones automatically drop into place and then you just make sure the back of your cabinet drops down into the ones in the back. Your cabinet in position, just bring your back into place. Take your clip, hook it into the back, pull forward, and snap it down into the cabinet. And your cabinet is locked on. Now all we need to do is connect our electrical harness for our lid switch. And now we're just going to flip our console forward, guiding in our curved hooks into the hole in the back corner and snap it down into place. 
and there, parts installed, washers all back together. Thank you.